it is time you guys in today's video i'm going to be decorating for fall 2021 giving you some decorating ideas getting my house all ready for the fall which is my favorite season but i'm also going to be doing a lot of cleaning so there is plenty of speed cleaning motivation in today's video i'm going to be doing some deep cleaning and then i'm even going to share a fall home tour go into more detail about all of my fall decorations so give me a thumbs up if you are ready for fall Hey friends, I'm Jamie and I want to thank you for being here. If you are brand new, hello, welcome. I want you to feel like you belong here because you absolutely do and I'm just glad that you're here. We're here together and we are a part of this community here on Jamie's Journey. I hope you feel like you belong here and I hope that you will take something away from this video. Maybe some fall decoration ideas, maybe some motivation cleaning motivation or maybe you just look at me as a friend and you enjoy the time that you're spending with me so thank you for being here and as always thank you to anyone who continues to come back i am grateful for all of you guys and i'm just blown away by all of your love and just thank you so i'm gonna start out by cleaning my home here on day so you are joining me for a three-day clean and decorate with me this was day one and i was getting some laundry started and i wanted to clean our bedding and then i was going to spray some tide antibacterial spray on the mattress let it sit for the day dry throughout the day and then i was going to make my bed later but this was in the morning before we got our day started So this was much later in the evening and you know one of my goals for my channel and for when i put out these videos i want to show you real life messes what a real life family living with three young kids you know this is what happens when you're living a busy life and you have young kids there are lots and less of messes but i also want to show you that i don't do all of this alone i am not a machine i can't always get it all done but i am able to stay afloat because i have a husband who takes the kids on a walk like he did tonight after dinner so i can get the kitchen all cleaned up and i have been on this kick of playing some 90s pop music to get me pumped up, pumped up to clean and it just really changes my mood and just gets me up and going so if you see me doing a little dancing that's what i'm rocking out to but yes a part of our nightly routine is tag teaming working together to quote unquote get it all done or i guess just get some of or the bare minimum done Here on night one, I wanted to do some fall cleaning. I know we're not at fall, like the true fall season quite yet, but just with the 
the turn of the seasons coming up soon, I wanted to deep clean my rugs. You're not supposed to put rugs with a rubber backing in your washer because it can ruin the washer. So I like to clean it, clean my rugs with my Hoover Power Dash Pet. It's a very lightweight carpet cleaner. And I'm just really diligent about cleaning my rugs because, you know, if you think about it, this is the first place you step when you come home this is where we take our shoes off and if the rugs aren't clean or whatever's embedded in those rugs it's just going to get tracked throughout the house so i like to stay on top of cleaning my rugs as often as i can but this was going to be the last thing that i was going to do here on night one or day one and then on day two you're going to see me bust out all of my fall decorations i'm going to be decorating and transforming my home for the fall season and actually after my three days of cleaning that you're going to join me for. I had a little bit of like decoration holes that I wanted to fill in. So I'm going to bring you along to a couple of stores, show you what's out there as far as fall decorations. Then I'll give you a fall home tour. So if you guys notice around our basement door, you can kind of see when I'm cleaning the rugs in the background, the trim has come off and it's all scratched up. So our dog Reese has anxiety during storms and fireworks and over the 4th of July weekend, she freaked out with some fireworks and damaged a couple of our door frames. We have everything under control. We've seen a vet. We have solutions for her to help her out so she's all good but we are having trouble finding trim we cannot find it anywhere we have looked online been to multiple home improvement stores and it's crazy because you know we're house hunting so it's like we could find a house at any time that we want to put an offer in if it would get you know accepted then we have to put our house on the market so we're like ugh, trying to run around trying to find it and it's just taking forever Just kidding. I'm gonna go help put the kids to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some decorating. So the fall time, fall decorating is my time to shine. And I know I've said this a million times, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but Decorating is not enjoyable for me. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. Like if you guys, you know, don't like cleaning or organizing, I enjoy that. I enjoy the process. I enjoy everything that comes with like cleaning and organizing. But when it comes to decorating, I just don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy the process. It's very overwhelming and I overthink myself. So we have lived in this house for about seven years and I have finally gotten my house to where I like it when it comes to the fall. And I think I like decorating for the fall because i can leave it up for three months like it's so overwhelming for christmas because it's like i don't want to spend all of the the money and the effort into getting my house looking nice for christmas because you only leave it up for like a month you know but like fall it's like three full months so i i enjoy it um that i can leave it up for three months and i finally over the past you know seven years have gotten my house to where i like it um someone asked me if i was going to decorate for halloween and i do love halloween probably more than Christmas, which I know is crazy. Um, but I'm not going to decorate for Halloween, even though I love it just because it's such a, like a short period of time that I would have to decorate, you know? Um, so anyways, it was a very gloomy day. It was like giving me all of the fall feels, even though it was really hot out, <laughs> which it'll still be hot for a while. Um, but the mornings are starting to cool off, which is nice. So it's still, um, like I think the other mornings, like we've had mornings in the 50s and the 60s. I mean, it still gets, you know, to 80 or 90 um, during the day, but the mornings are starting to cool off, which is kind of nice. But yes, Christmas is my time to shine, or Christmas, fall. 
is my time to shine when it comes to decorating and I just love how over the years you know I just have bought a few decorations every year and slowly but surely I've gotten my house to where I enjoy it now during the fall that is how we stay So I got a lot of really good candles from Bath and Body Works and also some from um, Walmart that I'll share. Um, and I'll share all of those in the sense, the sense that I got when I give you my fall home tour here at the end. Um, but like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you where I got all of my decorations and then um, some of the new decorations that I hope to get. But I'll try to link all of the decorations that I can. But honestly, most of this stuff has been accumulated over the past seven years that we you know we've been in here for seven years so every year you know like i'll bu buy a few new pieces and so a lot of this is not stuff you can get necessarily this year but i will still try to link as much as i can in the description just in case um you know like you guys want to go and look for something similar um, but here in a minute i'm going to answer some questions that i got from a recent viewer more about my personality more about my husband's personality how similar we are how different and it's just kind of interesting that i'm going to share all of that here in a minute um, but you know i've been talking a lot about that we're currently house hunting and pulling out all of my fall decorations you know I, i'm excited because it's like okay i finally like it's nice it's exciting for me because I'm like okay I'm excited to decorate because I know I have my house the way I like it and then I think like maybe next year we are going to be in a new house and then I'm gonna have to find decorations that work in that house now obviously it doesn't mean just because you buy a new house you have to buy new decorations but you know I've gotten these decorations that I have currently complement I believe you know the colors that are in my home like the the warm like the tan uh, color on the wall and my countertops like we could get into a house with completely different tones and colors and I, it'll just be interesting to see how all of these decorations translate I think more than likely what I'll probably end up doing is exactly what we did for this house because we lived in a how our first house we bought we lived in before this I'll probably just like hope that they all translate over and then it'll take me, you know, seven years to get to get it to where I love it. Um, just buy a few each year. And I I'm never like worried about having my house perfect when it comes for decorations because I just know that I can't. Like it's just not not how I operate when it comes to decorating, uh, maybe cleaning and organizing. I might be a little bit like more rushed, but decorating I don't rush myself because it's just too overwhelming for me. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we are next fall. Okay, so Sierra had asked, how are Mike and I similar? How are we different? Are we introverts, extroverts? Who's more strict with the kids? So I thought that was kind of fun and a different type of question, just because if you're new, um, or even if you're not new, I mean, unless you've been around for a long time, you probably don't know a lot about my husband. And I guess he's, he's pretty quiet. He's very laid back. He is a financial analyst. And I say that because I think that if you had your idea in your head of what a financialist would be like, he probably fits that. Like he's very analytical into numbers. He doesn't love being on camera. Um, he's very quiet. I think sometimes like if I show him on camera, because he's very quiet and laid back, his personality doesn't really 
translate on camera if you guys know what I mean um and so he probably just doesn't come off maybe as friendly on camera just because he's just really quiet I hope you guys know what I mean but he is one of the most uh laid back gentle like most thoughtful like he is if I could take one thing attribute from him it would be to get some of his selflessness he is so he is not selfish at all he doesn't have one bit of selfishness in him and I really admire that about him um but anyways okay so we as far as similar we are both pretty quiet like if we're in a room with new people we're gonna be very quiet and we're not gonna talk um we open up more when we get to know you we are both introverts. We are not big talkers. We like being in smaller groups, like a smaller group of friends. And we also don't like being like, go, go, go. Like as much as you guys see me moving and, you know, getting stuff done just because it has to get done. But like in general, we love to relax. Like we are not the type of like family that's like planning these big adventures every weekend and go, go, go. We enjoy kind of enjoying the slowness when we can. We are very similar with our values and morals and what we want in life, how we parent. And I think the biggest way we are different is that I am a type A person and he is a type B. And I have this little cartoon that I found online and I thought this was perfect because I am the type of person that's like, if it's there, I'm going to like, I am a go getter. Mike is very successful, very successful in his career. And he's always looking like, I mean, he's had, since we've moved into this house, I think he's had like four promotions. Like he, he's, he's a go-getter, but he's also the type that like at five o'clock, as long as there's nothing pressing, he shuts his laptop. He doesn't have his, um, email on his phone because I mean, like when he's at work, he's always on his email, but like he wants to be like present. He wants to be in the moment. Um, he is he wants to enjoy life. Now, of course, I want to enjoy life, but I am like, okay, we have, you know, the list, um, like the to-do list. Okay, what's next? Like, I'm just, I'm type A, definition of a type A person, and he is t definitely a type B person. But I guess we make it work and we work really well together. So I guess we balance each other out. So this was one area that I didn't really know how to decorate because this table is new. We got it, I think, in February. So I was trying to go around, trying to figure out like plug-in stuff that I had to try to make things work before I went and bought something new. And I felt like it needed something taller. So that's why I was going to go out and shop for something different for this table. But I was trying to make it work for what I had first before I went out. Sierra also asked who is more strict with the kids and I was like kind of curious I was like hmm I wonder what Mike would say so I asked him and he said I think we're both equally as strict like I don't think there's one parent that's more of the dis disciplinarian um, than the other um, if I had to pick if I had to I would probably probably say he's a tiny bit more strict than a, than I am but I kind of feel like it depends on the day like I, I'm sure this is very common with parents but like some days you know you're tired you're exhausted your patience is running low 
and you can't deal with the whining and the crying and the fighting. Um, and there's other days where you have more patience and you're maybe in a really good mood and you're more tolerant of that type of stuff or certain behaviors. So I just think we almost take our turns depending on the day um, and who is more strict. So yeah, I guess we're, we're pretty equally as strict, but um, yeah. I definitely think I want to add some fall florals in here, but I didn't really have any that looked good. So that's something else I was going to look for when I went shopping. Um, but I did want to add a pop of fall in here. I'm not someone who likes to decorate a lot like all over my house for the fall just because I, I just try to focus on the main living areas. But this is the bathroom that's like right off the kitchen that people use when they come over. So I did want to put a little bit of effort into, into this bathroom. Um, but what are you guys looking forward to the most with the fall? So when it comes to fall for me, there's probably two things that I get most excited for. Number one, let's see if you guys know me. What do you think I'm most excited for? Okay. I am most excited for, if you guys, like, I want you to leave that comment there. Uh, we'll see, um, what you guys say, but I am the most excited for college football, Ohio state Buckeye football. That's like Mike loves professional football as well, equally as college football. Most of our weekends in the fall are spent revolving around football in some aspect, but I love Ohio state football. So, um, I am the most excited for college football. And then after that, I love Halloween. So I'm excited for those two things. Um, I have no idea what the girls are going to be this year for Halloween. I mean, Avery will, will choose what she wants to be. I have no idea what the twins are going to be. So those are the two things I'm the most excited for. Let me know in the comment section what you are most excited for when it comes to the fall. And now I need to get you back. Oh, I do plan on decorating my porch. I guess that is the other area that I do decorate. Again, it's like I get to decorate for th and leave it up for three months. So I do put in a little bit of effort for my porch. Like Christmas, I don't do anything. I don't even put on a up a Christmas wreath because it's such a short period of time. And then we get like so much snow and there's always so much snow on the porch that I just don't put in the effort for Christmas. But fall, I am going to be decorating this year for my front porch and I will be filming it for you guys. So I didn't show myself vacuuming on the hardwood floors before I mopped. I almost, I mean, I always mop or vacuum before I mop, but I had ran the Norwal, my robotic vacuum slash mop, but I ran the vacuum part the night before and the floors weren't that dirty and I was running out of time. So something had to be cut. And since the floors weren't bad, I didn't vacuum before I mopped. So.
but here on day two i just wanted to make my bed and then clean our master bathroom i didn't have a lot of time on my hands so this was one of those days you know like sometimes i have a lot i, I get done a lot i want to get done and there's other days where it's like i just have about a half an hour to get stuff done um and so that was one of those days i had to prioritize what i had to do and i had to get the master bathroom done which i had been putting off the shower was so gross not so gross it just was not clean at all it was it needed to be cleaned um because it had been more than a couple of weeks since i had cleaned it because i hate cleaning the master shower so um yeah oh and i was gonna use the jaws cleaner to clean the vanity and i was all out and I was being way too lazy to go downstairs and get a new Jaws pod. So I just grabbed the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Multi-Surface Spray because I had it up here. Um, But stay tuned. Next, we're going shopping and then I'll show you my fall decor. So I was going to mop in there and then give you guys like a little home tour of all of the decorations so you could see it all together. I was going to light the candles, but the girls woke up from their nap, so it's just not going to work. So um, maybe tomorrow I will pick up and do it. I don't know. We'll see when I get time. Hopefully I have time before I need to edit this and get it up to you guys. But stay tuned for the home tour and you can see all of my fall decorations. I am a little dressed up, or I guess dressed up for me. I don't really get dressed up very often or really do my makeup. I'm going out with one of my girlfriends tonight, just a girl's night. Husbands are staying at home with the kids. She has like a work event that she's taking me to. They have like appetizers and drinks, and then we're gonna go to a wine bar after that. So I'm pretty excited to get away for the night and have a little bit of a girl time, but I thought while I was dressed up really quickly, and the house was clean, I'll do, kind of show you how I've decorated. Now I've switched some things up from what you guys have seen and I need your opinion. So give me your opinion when I ask you guys, but what you've already seen me decorate, things are a little bit different. Wanna add in, I'm sorry I didn't get as many clips when I was out shopping because there was a lot of people out and I got nervous and shy whipping out my camera in public. So I just got a few clips at Kirkland's. Sorry guys. Okay, so you walk into the kitchen and I, keep it pretty minimal here in the kitchen um i always get asked about this i think it's called a i think it's considered a cake stand i got it from the target dollar tree and i've gotten that one from the target dollar tree as well they do have some that i'll link below that aren't dollar or like target dollar tree prices a little bit more expensive um, but I think there's one for like $10 and there's some nicer ones as well. Um, but I always see that or periodically I'll see them at the Target dollar spot and I always pick them up. So just have a candle, a blue pumpkin. And then over here, um, this is white pumpkin. I think this is the first time I've seen this scent at Bath and Body Works. And then I have this little, I think it's called a trivet. I'll have that link below, that's from Target. And I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. So you know I like to keep my countertops pretty minimal and bare. And then over here, 
So I always get asked about that. That's an Amazon Alexa. I just turned the screen off, um, but it plays music for us. It can does reminders and things like that. So um, I just get asked about what what's that screen? But I have, this is um, pumpkin vanilla cream, which is one of my favorites. I got it last year and I bought two of them this year because it, they sold out really quickly. Pumpkin vanilla cream, it's just, it's an amazing scent. Um, and I got this from Bath and Body Works a couple years ago and then this sign from Kirkland's, which I really like because it brings in some of those more cooler colors. I guess the gray and the white as opposed to since everything is so warm. And then I got this pumpkin over here to kind of, again, balance out the darker countertops. I got this from Hobby Lobby, I think last year. Okay, so this is where it's different. Now, you guys, and I need your opinion. So you guys saw me decorate those right here. And I had that. Now I went shopping earlier and I tried to find some type of floral, fall floral to put over there and I just couldn't find what I was looking for. And so I, I came home and I was looking online and I was like, just for height purposes, I took those, I was like from here and then I put over there to see what I was looking for height wise. And when I put this over there, I was like, ooh, I like this over here. I mean, I like it on the table, but I really like it over here because it adds some height height and then um like it goes along with the hello fall very i feel like it goes with the hello fall sign really well um so this is where i need your opinion do you like this setup you can let me know um this i got from the target dollar section this year this is from target which i think is still available i'll link that these are from Michael's last year, but I saw some very similar at Hobby Lobby. This is from Kirkland's like probably four, three or four years ago. And then this is from the Target dollar section last year. I think it was like $3. So you tell me if you like this setup, like does that look good? I think it looks pretty good. So I think I'm gonna keep it, but do you think this looks better there? Which I like, cause I think I needed some height over here. And then, over here, I was like, okay, what do I put? So I did just do a Target drive up. I don't wanna spend a lot of money on decorations, like I said earlier, just because I don't know where we're gonna be next fall. So I prefer not, like I just don't wanna spend money to spend money. So I'm trying to make things work with what I have. And um, so this was up on the mantel. So I pulled that down here, which I like, cause um, the vase that I found at Target um, I'll have a picture, I'll insert it here. You guys can see it's very similar. Um, but I thought that looked pretty good um, because originally I was gonna leave that up there. And so I guess the question is, yes, you tell me if you like that there, if you think that looks good. And then if I just threw another, um, what, what is that called, candle? <laughs> A candlestick up there. I had the one over here with that yellow or orange pumpkin there in the middle. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch me decorate. Um, I had another one upstairs that I that I I just had. So I just wanted a little bit of height on one side, and I thought like since I have a little bit of height over there, I feel like it looks fine, and I just like how I don't have to necessarily buy anything to make this work. Um, and there's enough color up here, I think. Um, so you guys tell me what you think, but I think I'm going to make this work. I think it looks pretty good. And then over here, I was looking actually for a little bit of like a, a little plant with some fall florals. I couldn't find anything. So I just added this pumpkin from the Target dollar spot right there. Just to add a little bit of orange and I have, I had this throw from, previous years. I would like one that's a little bit lighter, more of like that shade of orange, but again, I didn't want to just buy one just because I don't like the color. So maybe next year, but um, I have that. And so the one thing that's not here right now is I did order two big throw. So that's like the one thing I guess I bought this year, two big throw pillows, because last year we didn't have the gray sectional. It was the tan, so I really kept it very neutral with the creams. But now that we have the gray sectional, I wanted to put in some of that muted orange color, I guess. So I did buy two 
throw pillows. They're just not here yet. So I am gonna add, and they're, they're, they're a good size. I'm gonna add one here, um, one there. It's very similar to this color, which I just got this today from Target. So I guess the one thing I bought this year was throw pillows. Um, and I left the tag on there just because I want to make for sure it goes well with the other throw pillows. So I think this was $15 at Target and it's supposed to be this color with a little bit of cream um, decoration in it. So I think this should work really well with those new throw pillow covers. But um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good and I think it'll just be perfect to have a square big pillow, throw pillow right there and right there. I may have to, I guess, remove that throw blanket if it doesn't go well with them, but that's okay. Oh, and then over here, I just have these little pumpkins. I got this from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and these from Home Goods a couple of years ago. And this is that other pumpkin vanilla cream, which I highly, highly suggest. I did not decorate over there. I know it, like that's where all the toys are. That cabinet is way too dark, but it's just not a priority right now to fix that. So we'll just focus on this area. Um, but I'm thinking Bath and Body Works candles. I had the pumpkin vanilla cream. I have two leaves candles. That's another one of my favorites, leaves. I have um, a harvest gathering, which was, I think I'm gonna use in like September, like apples and like crisp apples and things like that. And then the white, white pumpkin. And then this is the pumpkin pecan waffles, which smells really good as well. So those are the scents that I got this year. And I'm sorry I didn't show you guys as much shopping as I had intended to. I was kind of pressed for time and there was a ton of people out and I got a little like shy, like whipping out my camera. So I got a few clips at Kirkland's, um, but I didn't film too much. I had intended to, but I got so nervous. So anyways, that is my fall home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am ready. School is back. College football is back this week, upcoming week. I am ready for the cooler weather. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, I hope I gave you guys some inspiration and feel free to give me some of your opinions on the things that I switched around. But I was trying to keep things, not buy a ton, try to work with what I had, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. So anyways, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.